what's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm finally back into doing some more footy card videos. Uh, the last Team Coach video I did was nine days ago on Thursday. I've got myself the new 2020 Team Coach albums. Um, I think they came out yesterday or today. They were very delayed. And on top of that, the more exciting thing, 10 packs of AFL Team Coach. Uh, what I'll be doing, like Jason Kleptables, I'll be doing a footy card battles. Five packs of one side, five packs of the other. And the uh, two teams will be North Melbourne versus St Kilda ahead of Sunday night's clash. And yeah, let's just get straight into the footy card battles. Let's hope for something really good. Alrighty, so as I said before, the rules are going to be similar or basically the same as Jason Collectibles footy card battles. So if you, haven't, if you haven't checked them out, definitely do so. I'll leave a link in the description and make sure you subscribe. Uh, basically, open one pack. So this is going to be uh, North Melbourne and this is going to be St Kilda. Whichever um, team gets a rarer card gets a point for that round. Wild card's worth three and special card for that team is an extra point. So uh, let's just not ramble on and let's just get straight into the first pack. So this is North Melbourne. And as we'll look at that, we've, find, we've got a Jay McMillan uh, card at the back. The uh, first hit we've got is a Joel Selwood Icon card. Pretty good start there. The icons are always good to uh, always good to collect, always good to get. We'll plop it up there. Not a bad start for the uh, Ruse. Dylan Grimes Gold. And we've got a Joe Danaher Gold. So, uh, not a bad start for the Ruse. Um, I think, yeah, the icons are one in three packs, so they're not too hard to get. And the next one, we got a Nat Fife Icon card. So it might be pretty interesting to see who's going to win this one. Tim Kelly Gold and a Robbie Tarrant Gold. So, um, yeah, I'm not too sure about how we're going to judge this. I know Jason Collectibles does it in his own way. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to have a look at which cards we got. Um, so we're going to have a look at which cards we got. Look here, we see um, um, Joel Selwood for the Geelong Cats and Nat Fife Icon card. Even though Nat Fife didn't win the Brown Low, Geelong finished top of the ladder in 2019. So what I'm gonna do is give the first point to North Melbourne. In a very close encounter, I reckon North Melbourne just steal the show. As good as North Nat Fife is as a player, Joel Selwood's a great captain for the Cats. So very close start for the first uh, footy card battle. Next up, we have a footy bods of Ninja Adamichi. I think that's how you say it. I'm not too sure if I've already got that or not. Uh, we've got Lockie Whitfield gold and an Ed Kerno gold. So not a not a bad start for the uh, kangaroos. We've got another 3D icon of the Adelaide mascot. Brody Grundy gold. And a Luke Shuey gold. Um, I think the battle bots are rarer. I'm not too sure. Like, it's kind of hard to judge. I'm almost certain though that the icons are one per three packs and the battle bods are one per six. So I'm gonna have to give another point to the kangaroos. Unfortunately, the Saints are two down in the footy card battles. So obviously it shows I'm not being biased. Uh, yeah, I reckon that's, yeah, I think the battle bods are rare. I'm not 100% sure. Speaking of battle bods, we've got another one. We've got uh, Talia Spoil Crow for the for the Crows, a, a glitter card, a Rory Lob Gold, and a Hayden Crozier Gold. So let's see if the Saints can get a point back. A wild card would be nice. Looks like we get another Icon card. Oh, we've got a best and fairest of Ben Cunnington, not bad. A Mitch Robinson Gold, and a Sydney, snack, a Sydney Stack Gold. I don't know if the Icons are rarer than the uh, bot Battle Bods, but North Melbourne, playing better than Adelaide. I like the be the best and fairest more than the Battle Bods. So I'm gonna give this point to the Saints. 2-1 are now the scores. Saints with a bit of a comeback. Saints with a bit of a comeback. Scores are 2-1. We got four more packs to go. Uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Pretty good pull there, the uh, Ben Cunnington best and fairest. I do like him this year. Uh, one of the premiership backs for Nick Vloston. I think we got a footy flips. We do. I'm not too sure the rarity. I'm guessing one per nine. I'm not too sure. Uh, we got a yeah, just a basic footy flips of the Rising Star. I think. Yep. 
So we got uh, Clayton Oliver and Christian Petrarca. So yeah, pretty good. Not bad. Haven't really got too many footy, fl footy flips yet. We got a Callan Ward gold and a Jonathan Patton gold as well. So um, yeah, next pack. Doesn't look like anything special. We've got a Saints Fab 5. That is pretty nice. Tom Mitchell gold and a Devin Smith gold. And since the Saints were the ones who pulled the Fab 5, um, I'm going to have to give the Saints an extra point. Because that, uh, as I state before, if the team that pulls their own special card gets a special card, they get an extra point. So now the scores are 3-2, St. Killer in the lead. It's, it's uh, becoming close, this footy card battle. Can we get a wild card? Doesn't look like it. Oh, if only this was a wild card. We've got another footy flips. A um, gallery one. I think these ones are a lot better. we got, what do we have? Buddy Franklin, uh, 2014 Magic Wild. Then we've got a 2016 footy power and a 2019 Magic. So we'll just leave it on the Magic. It looks nice. Dane Rampy Gold. And a Jade Gresham goal. So another Saints card. Pretty good. Uh, let's see what this last pack holds. Can it be a wild card or will it be a single to win? And it looks to be... Let's have a look at what it is. It's a Battle Bod of Essendon. Jake Stringer... Or Stringer Tico. Whatever you... I don't know how the hell you say that. Nathan Wilson gold. And a Blake Hardwick gold. So... Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go well, to the judges. To be quite honest, I have no idea the rarities. I think these both are the same rarity. Uh, Essendon did finish high on the ladder, although Buddy Franklin is a star. I'll, I'll have to give that point to St Kilda. Bit biased in a way, but St Kilda, I reckon, uh, overall, probably got the better cards. If you want to comment down below who you think, or what team you think uh, has the better cards, and the, I think the Saints are going to end up being 4-2 winners in the first footy card battles 2020 uh, for me. So, yeah, hopefully I can do more of these. I'll probably do team coach and select footy card battles. But, you know what? We'll quickly get into opening the album, see what uh, prize card we can get. And, yeah, so let's just get straight into that, show. Alrighty, so I'll be opening the album. I don't usually do any unboxings showing my face, but, um, yeah, I'm going to do an album unboxing. At the price cards, definitely in hand. We've got a bit of a pamphlet, all that, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll get, let you guys uh, look at it. And the card is, it is an Adelaide Crows Brody Smith. So this is who we got, Brody Smith. Uh, pretty similar to last year's actually. I thought they might have changed it, but I'm not. I don't think I have. Uh, so yeah, that's the price card we got in the album. Album's pretty good, like last year's. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy uh, for more AFL footy card videos, or just AFL videos in general, as I said before. I'm hoping maybe to do pack opening one once a week, probably the plan. Um, depends on whether the footy season will continue. I might do more then. Uh, but yeah, as I said before, if you do enjoy this sort of stuff, leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment down below your thoughts on who you reckon would have won. And... Uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe to Jason Collectibles as well. And I'll see you guys soon in my next video.